Welcome back to Dine and Design. I'm your host, Stephanie Cathan, and we are going to make an Asian supreme salad to go with our wonderful stir fry that we're having tonight. These are complete kits. All you have to do is put them in the bowl, toss them up, and you really do have a fabulous salad that feeds quite a bit of people. Sometimes you can get these on sale two for five dollars. It's it's a wonderful, um, magnificent deal. So we are going to open this up. This is the easiest dinner you guys you've ever seen. We're going to pour the lettuce in. How simple is that? And there's like snap pea pods in here and there's shredded carrots and it looks like a couple of different types of lettuce, romaine lettuce. So we pour that in and they give you everything you need. They supply you with a salad dressing, they supply you with a fun little crunchy topping and complete yumminess inside. So we're going to put on one of these packages of dressing, just like that. Then we're going to take a spoon and we're going to give it a toss. Doesn't that look good? We're going to take our other dressing. And you know, Working 28 years in the restaurant industry gave me a lot of fun tips, and most restaurants use pre-mixed salads, so if you think this isn't the way to go, it is, it is. Look at that. Okay. We're just going to stir it up until it kind of coats all of the lettuce. You want it kind of evenly, mmm, and you can smell it smells like sesame and a little bit of maybe ginger. It smells really good. Then. We're going to take these dried cherries that they provide, and they're really good in there. Kind of throw those in. And believe me, if you were going to go out to a restaurant and eat one of these salads, it would cost you probably $8 to $10 for just one person's salad. One of these salads, because they're really, really good. We're going to just kind of put the crunchy noodles on there. And wait till you see how fabulous this looks. Voila! We have a nice Asian salad to go with our pork stir fry that we're having for dinner tonight. Look how fun and delicious that looks. Very easy. I'm going to set this aside. Our rice is going to be ready in a few minutes, and we'll be back after a word from our sponsors. Welcome back to Dine and Design, brought to you by Cranberry and Sage of Vermont. Tonight we're making an Asian stir fry. We're making brown rice in our rice cooker. And for the meat, I'm going to use um, just these three pork chops here, just like $3 at Shaw's. And this is going to feed a family of four. I'm going to take these pork chops and I'm going to just turn them sideways and slice them with a sharp knife. And sometimes, if you have kitchen shears, it makes things much, much easier. I know we have some around here somewhere, but I don't know where they are. I'm going to cut the, the fat off of the sides because it makes it a little bit easier to cut that way. So I'm just going to slice that off of there. Turn it and I'm going to slice it into little strips. And you want these pretty thin because you don't want it to take too much time to cook. This is kind of a quick meal. So you just slice it up into thin pieces, thin little strips. Then we're going to spray our pan with olive oil cooking spray so it doesn't stick and start cooking the meat because our rice is going to be done pretty soon. So I'm going to take my frying pan and I'm going to spray it with Shaw's olive oil cooking spray. Or you can use Pam or you can use actual olive oil, whatever you like. I like the non-spray, non-stick cooking sprays. They work best for me. So I'm going to turn that on uh, medium high just so that it gets hot and then I'm going to throw the meat in and it's going to be crisp on the outside and then I'm going to turn it down a little bit so it cooks a little slower on the inside. So we want crispy outside, tender inside, and of course complete yumminess all around. I'm going to finish up slicing this meat, throw it in the frying pan, and we'll be back after a word from our sponsors. This portion of our show is brought to you by CNET's Stress-Free Computer Help.
Welcome back to Dining Design brought to you by Cranberry and Taste of Vermont. I am sauteing our pork strips that I cut up. They were just pork chops that I made into strips for our stir fry. As you can see, I'm kind of, they don't take very long to cook, but you want to kind of get them brown on each side and then turn the heat down a little bit so that they're tender in the middle. But you do want a little brownie. That just adds to the um, fun of it all. So this only takes like a couple of minutes for them to brown. And then just turn them over. These smell so good. Pork is really one of the easiest things to do. You can barbecue it, you can grill it, you can bake it, you can stuff it, you can do all sorts of fun stuff with pork. Pork is really easy and fun. Okay, I've got those all flipped over. I'm going to turn my heat down a little bit. My rice is going well over here in the um, rice cooker. Our salad is ready. And we are going to take our frozen vegetables and throw those right into the frying pan. Just mix everything together. One, two, three. It's going to be as easy as that. Hear that sizzle? Mmm. And it smells so good. Your family will think you spent all day long cooking this wonderful Asian meal that we're putting together right now. And it's about half the price as to go out to the Chinese restaurant and get all of this stuff. So that's cooking. We're going to leave that on for a moment, and we will be right back after a word from our sponsors. Um, welcome back to Dine and Design, brought to you by Cranberry and Sage of Roma. I'm your host, Stephanie Kaffin. We're making a fabulous pork stir-fry. And as you can see, I have let the vegetables cook. They've been on about medium-high for about 12 minutes with the um, pork in there. And they've settled down. I'm going to now add some House of Sang classic stir-fry sauce. This stuff I got at Shaw's, it's really good. It's about $4 a bottle. But when you consider what you're saving from going out, it's well, well worth it. And this stuff is very, very delicious. So I used about a half a bottle. And I'm just kind of going to stir this up and coat the vegetables evenly. You want to like really make sure everything gets coated. Nothing worse than eating a stir-fry without any coating. And we really want the vegetables and the pork to absorb the flavor of the stir-fry sauce. So if we coat those like that and then let it sit and we'll pour a little bit more on top and just kind of let it simmer into the vegetables and the meat. So I'm just going to drizzle a little bit more on. I guess a lot more on. Not quite the rest of the bottle, but pretty close. I'm going to let that sit. I'm going to turn it down onto low. And I'm just going to let that soak into those vegetables and that pork. And we'll be right back with the finished dinner that we're serving tonight, which is pork stir-fry, brown rice, and Asian salad. We will be right back. Welcome back to Dine and Design, brought to you by Cranberry and Sage. I'm your host, Stephanie Kathan. Our stir-fry is ready, so I've got some salad on the plate. I'm going to come over to our rice cooker, and I'm going to load some rice on. This is the greatest invention. I just found out about this today, and let me tell you something. I am so very excited. Look, it comes out nice and fluffy and good. Put some rice right on there, and then I'm going to come over here and then get our serving spoon. Look at that. And that is going to go right on top of the rice. How beautiful is that? You've got a wonderful, easy, inexpensive Asian dinner that your family will love. Complete yumminess. Bon appetit. This is Dine and Design brought to you by Cranberry and Sage of Vermont. See you next time.